We have uh, the Nigerian wonder kid, Zuriel Oduole, back here in the studio. If you remember some time ago, we spoke with her and, um, you know, we first met her when she was nine. She's now 11 and she's still doing some very amazing work. Zuriel, thank you very much for coming back again to TV360. Thank you for having me. Yeah, um, I know you've been very busy lately and uh, of course you were in Oshun State and uh, you presented an award to the governor of Oshun State. Tell us about that award. What, what exactly was it about? Well, the award was for the most innovative governor supporting education in Nigeria. And what it is, is I have some friends who created the Girl Rising documentary, and I also have some friends from the United Nations Foundation, and also some volunteers who do a lot of research to find out who will be best to give the award to for each particular topic. Now, the topic was, of course, the most innovative governor supporting education in Nigeria. And so for that, we chose Governor Rauf Alek Bishola of Oshun State. And I'm surprised that you pronounce the name so very well. Now, while you were in Oshun State, you, you visited some schools. I mean, we saw you. We're going to see the picture very shortly. We saw you, I mean, visiting some schools. Tell us about those schools. What, what, what impression did you get now from visiting those schools? Well, when I see those schools, I think it could be anywhere in the United States, it could be in the UK, because the schools are very modern -y. And also what I like about it is that the governor is also providing O meals, which ensures that the children who go to these schools would have a chance to get meals every day. And I met some of the children in the schools, and they said they liked the improvement, seeing the new infrastructure development, and I think it's something really cool. And uh, uh, did, did you speak with some of the, the, the students in the schools, I mean, the, the pupils? Well, there wasn't that many when I went to visit because um, two of them weren't finished yet. But I did, saw, I did see a couple of children, and when I talked to them about the project, you just see the expression on their faces. They're like smiling and grinning. You could tell they're really looking forward to it. And the infrastructure, I mean, the classrooms you saw, what, what's your impression of those classrooms? I mean, were they wonderful? They were indeed wonderful. I saw they had new desks, they had new chairs, they had, um, they had sometimes they had projectors there so that way the children would be able to watch things while doing the, um, you know, that have to do with the schoolwork. And also when we were walking around, I saw that they built a new sports field. They also, that way the children can get some exercise. And they also had new art classes and computer classes as well. Well, I saw they actually had about 48 computers where children in grades Eight, seven to eight, I believe, will be able to attend those classes. Oh, all right, let's very quickly now just take a look at um, you presenting the award to uh, Governor Ragbashala and what you said uh, during that ceremony and, of course, what uh, Governor Ragbashala said in return. Let's take a listen and, and, and take a look at that. Sure. I, the Dream Up Speak Up Standard Project, are proud to present the award of the most innovative governor supporting education in Nigeria to Governor Raouf Ragbashala. I was very, very happy to have a single recognition by no less personalities than international. I should be happy to have that decision. But beyond the recognition of the award, with the fact that we must celebrate this, yeah, we must celebrate that for what, what God has endowed our world. And the effort of our parents in being such a distinguished personality at such a tender age. <laughs> we are here more to celebrate the achievement of this girl. <laughs> as a way of stimulating our children. To have high dreams and develop passion for 
for their dreams. So as we serve and through service, get recognition. Well, I mean, we, Governor Rogba Shalade, I mean, speaking so glowingly of you, I mean, quite, quite wonderful. And uh, it, it's, a, it's so very g wonderful that you could think of this idea and present, um, you know, an award to a, a, a governor. So do you intend to continue this, or is this just a one-off? Well, I've already presented four awards. The first was to an African first lady who is doing a lot to support um, child education. And that went to the first lady of Tanzania. Um, First Lady Salma Kikwete. The second award I gave was to um, Minister Muriel Martin of Mauritius, and that was the award for a gender minister who was supporting child education also. And then the last two I did, which was at Ocean State, I awarded it to Governor Rauf Alek Bishola for the most innovative governor supporting education um, in Nigeria. And the second one, was the most dynamic commission of education in oh. Nigeria. And that went to Madam Titi Laoye Tamari. Who is, of course, the deputy governor of that state, and she's in charge of education, no doubt. And the, the whole idea is, pro I'm very sure the whole idea is to encourage um, you know, leaders to continue to do more for, um, you know, for education, especially the education of the girl child, right? Yes, sir, that is correct. All right. Now, you, you were in Brazil. I mean, let's talk about your new project. Um, you have this project that is running, the Dream of Speak Up Stand Up uh, project, and now you have another one. That's the hashtag uh, Follow the Ball for Education campaign uh, project. T tell us about this new project. Well, what it is, I'm sure as you all know, that the whole world is focused on football now because of the World Cup. Yeah, of course, and, yeah. and that's the reason you went to Brazil, but go on. And so what I'm doing is I'm taking these two footballs to six countries across three continents to get people talking about girls' education. And so I've been able to meet with people from over 20 nationalities uh, in Brazil who have signed the ball. And from this, I'm going to create a documentary to bring even more awareness to the rest of the world on why all children, especially the girls, should have a chance to get an education. Um, t tell us about the signing of the... How, how did people receive you in Brazil? Because, I mean, we saw you on the streets of Brazil. We saw people signing the ball. What, what's the kind of reception you got in Brazil? Well, when it's World Cup time, it's almost like everyone has the exact same address. Everyone's, everyone's family when it comes to the World Cup. And so they were glad to sign the ball. We took pictures. And they also wanted to know um, what pro the project, more about the projects I'm doing. And so what I did was I explained to them. And then they wanted to know what more they could do to help the um, area of child education. I mean, it, it's good that you, your campaign is coming at a time when uh, the, Nigeria is still looking for over 200 girls who were taken away from a school in Chibok. Um, what are your thoughts now about those girls who were kidnapped in Chibok? Well, I think it's really sad what has happened because me, as an everyday old girl, I can't imagine being taken away to some strange place by some strange people. But I am, I am hoping that the government will be able to find the girls and bring them home safely. And. Um, what will be your final word now about your campaign? Just tell us, because we, we have to close now. Tell us, what will be your final word about this campaign? I mean, the new project that you've, you, you, you've started now, the Follow the Ball for Education project. Well, you can find out more about my project on my website, dreamupspeakupstandup.com, and you can also follow on Twitter and Facebook. And w where next are you going to? You've, you've gone to Brazil, you've come to Nigeria, so where next? Well, like I mentioned, six, Af six countries, so now I've done it in the U.S., Brazil, Ethiopia, and now Nigeria. Now the next two countries would be South Africa and Mauritius. Tell us, uh, I, I just have to ask you this before you go, you dream about becoming the President of the United States, and yes, uh, is it still on? It is, sir. That hasn't changed yet. It hasn't changed? No, sir. And you also want to be an athlete when you grow up? Yes, sir. Have, have you started practicing? Yes, sir. I have taxi for track, yes, sir. Oh, really? Yes, sir. Okay, maybe I'll take you up uh, the next time you come. By then, I guess you'll be bigger. Um, I guess so, yes, <laughs> sir. Well, thank you very much, Zuriel, for coming on the program, and we wish you all the best of luck in your new project. Well done. Thank you for having me. I was glad to be here.